Hello there, this is Dr. Mintz. This is a very interesting case of a patient who had relatively minor trauma, or so it seemed, wrestling with someone, got elbowed in the abdomen, and had pain at the time, but not overwhelming. Things worsened overnight, came in the next day, and had a CT. And here is the CT. So I'll give you a moment to just peruse those images. So the first thing you should notice is in this male there is free fluid in the pelvis. We see some in the right lower quadrant and some down here more inferiorly. Occasionally, in a younger woman, of course, you can have a little bit of free fluid from an ovarian cyst or follicle that has burst. But here we have a male, so that already is immediately concerning. Now look up the upper abdominal structures. Get an idea if you see anything that looks abnormal. Okay, and if you've identified the abnormality, good. And I'll tell you now that the abnormality is right on this image. Okay, and then what we'll say is the abnormality involves the pancreas. Here's the pancreatic tail, body, neck, and then we go a little bit more to the right. Here's the head, or part of the head. This is the uncinate process, curving posteriorly there. And what we have here is the duodenum. We have oral contrast in the duodenum. Oral contrast in the duodenum is very helpful because it shows us where the duodenum is. And this lo relatively low attenuation area here and here is fluid, I presume blood. And what we actually have here then is this is a transection through the head of the pancreas oriented like this and as we go from top to bottom we can see this cleavage plane within the pancreatic head so the part of the pancreatic head that abuts the duodenum is basically separated from the remainder of the pancreas it's therefore very likely that the common bile duct, which courses through the pancreatic head and then enters the second portion of the duodenum, has been injured as well. And we can see this all in a little different perspective on coronal images, which I think have some advantages, particularly in this case. Already, maybe, here we are seeing some kind of indistinct definition of the anatomy in the retroperitoneum in that region. And let's go to these coronal images here now with IV contrast. Aha! So, let's take a look what we have. You've gotten a little bit of an overview here. So remember the pancreatic tail goes out to the splenic hilum always. So we see it here. So it's a little harder to find your way around the pancreas on coronal than on axial images. But here's the pancreatic tail. And then we move more forward. So here's the body, the pancreas. And here you see the splenic vein and splenic artery. How do I know? Because those are the vessels that course along the path of the pancreas toward the splenic hilum. So there they are there. So this is pancreas, part of the body of the pancreas, going farther forward. Here we have part of the bo body of the pancreas. We're coming into the neck area. And this is pancreatic head. So what we have here is a cleavage plane where this laceration or fracture or, or any kind of descriptor for a tear through the head of the pancreas is present 
and what we're seeing over here are actually fragments of the pancreatic head that have been separated from the remainder of the pancreas and here again we have oral contrast in the duodenum there is some thickening in the region of the duodenum so there may be a small amount of hemorrhage in the wall of the duodenum here too but I suspect it's actually outside the duodenum because if it were in the wall of the duodenum these folds that you see on this side here look the same as this, the folds on this side so if this were actually in the wall of the duodenum I would expect that blood to be infiltrating into those folds and thickening them and making them markedly asymmetric with, the, with respect to those on this side so I think this is hemorrhage here that is adjacent to the pancreatic head related to that pancreatic laceration and here you see this irregularity this should all be pretty much uniform remember this is the second portion of the duodenum and the duodenal or the pancreatic head fits in this the C loop of the duodenum like well, like this and it's broad as it abuts the C loop or the second portion of the duodenum the C loop is the one first second and third portion that form that C and so all of this area here is hemorrhage and this is the second portion of the duodenum so the concern is not only that the pancreas is injured but the common bile duct which typically will come down from the porta hepatis through the pancreatic head and into the duodenum that that is very likely uh, damaged as well in terms of anatomy here this is a lovely display of looks like the superior mesenteric artery and if we go back this way we see the abdominal aorta and as we go forward we see two major branches not particularly well you see the celiac artery just barely there but this is the SMA and watch as you follow the SMA downward how it gives off its branches this is a, a vessel that is embedded in the mesentery and it gives off its branches to the small bowel in that same portion of mesentery so that's superior mesenteric artery now the venous flow from there is the superior mesenteric vein largely and so here you can see the superior mesenteric vein and a large tributary here so that is the venous drainage from that area of bowel and watch how when you follow that superior mesenteric vein back it joins the splenic vein how do I know that's the splenic vein not because of what it looks like but because of its anatomic relationship the superior mesenteric vein converges with this large vein which is the splenic vein to form the portal vein and this heads toward the porta hepatis so that is the venous drainage of bowel and this allows the venous drainage of bowel which often has chemicals or medications or contaminants in it to pass through the liver before entering the systemic flow and the liver is thereby capable of determining if there is something that needs to be metabolized or broken down and the liver does so so in summary very unusual case of pancreatic injury these are fairly uncommon to begin with and to have what seems to be a very serious injury in this case from what sounds like a relatively mild traumatic event uh, is quite unusual.